Welcome to 411 Now. If you're new here, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Will Finley and I am the creator here on 411 Now. Why don't you take a minute and click that subscribe button down below and don't forget the bell icon to be notified when I put out new content. Today we are looking at the movie Christine, the cult classic movie and based on the book of Stephen King. So these are 10 things that you probably didn't know about the actual making of the movie and the movie Christine. Number one, there were 28 cars that were used in different aspects of the movie to stand in for Christine. 28 cars. Number two, it was widely believed that six cars survived the actual making of the movie Christine, but actually it's probably closer to four cars that did survive. In 2015, one of the remaining surviving cars, nowhere near you know, restored to concourse level, which is an extremely you know, restored in, in, uh, car, nowhere near that level, sold at Haggerty Auction House for $198,000, the highest price ever paid for a Plymouth Fury. Even one restored to a concourse level is worth about maybe $125, maybe $135,000. Number three, those with a really keen eye will notice that in the movie Christine, they didn't use just Plymouth Furies. They actually used Belvedere's, Savoy's, and in two scenes, from a from the perspective of the roof of the car, they actually used four-door Chevy wagon. Number four. Stephen King is on record as saying how he picked the Plymouth Fury to be the actual car, Christine. He said that he picked the Plymouth Fury because it was a forgotten car. People just forgot all about it. There isn't a huge collector's market out there for Plymouth Furies. Everybody else wants Chevys and you know two-door Chevys and two-door you know Fords. They don't want Plymouth Furies, but now they do. Number five, in the movie, if you watch it again and then put it in slow mo, frame by frame. If you actually watch the movie, when Christine, the car, gets upset, just before it goes to do something, or, you know, you know, take off, or it gets aggressive, in any shot at all, look at the windows of the car. They blacked out the windows in every shot where Christine gets mad. Because, it, they, you know, according to John Carpenter, the director, he said it made the car look even more evil. Number six, during the making of the movie Christine, well before CGI was really all that great in the movie industry, to make Christine look like the car was regenerating herself and putting herself back together, they actually used hydraulic pumps that were mounted on the inside of a car that actually created a vacuum that would pull replica parts in on themselves that were made out of plastic. And then when they flipped the switch the opposite direction, it looked like Christine was actually regenerating. Those were plastic parts, not actual metal parts. Number seven, in the movie, when they needed to, you needed to hear Christine getting mad. So we know the windows are blacked out. But when you heard her rev her engine, ladies and gentlemen, that's not a Plymouth Fury. It happens to be a 1970 Ford Mustang GTO with a, um, a 428 Cobra Jet engine in it. They used that as the sound of Christine, not a Plymouth Fury. Number eight. If watching the movie Christine happens to give you deja vu, well, maybe there's a reason behind that. Because prior to the actual filming of Christine, 
five years prior to be exact, John Carpenter had used the same exact six block area in Pasadena, California to film Halloween in 1978. Number nine, when it came to the multiple premieres of the movie Christine in limited production for special audiences, John Carpenter, the director, never appeared at any of the, of the premieres for the movie because he believed it would bring the movie bad luck. Number 10. For in order to save money during the actual filming of Christine, since the studio, movie studio, would not give John Carpenter the budget that he said he needed to actually be able to make the movie, ways that he saved money was they went to a prop house and they borrowed props that he had used in other movies in the background and throughout Christine. To save on money on wardrobe, they went out and got wardrobes that were from other movies, television and movies. If you watch the actual the, um, the movie Christine closely, you will see certain outfits on main characters that are straight out of television at that time when the movie was made. That's how John Carpenter was two of the ways that he used to save money. A third way was hiring people to be in the movie who had very little experience or no experience at all to be actors in the actual movie itself. Bonus. Kelly Preston is in the movie, as we all know. But did you know that this was uh, Kelly Preston's third movie ever? The movie Christine? And that originally when offered the role in Christine, Kelly Preston thought, eh, I don't really want to make this movie because it's a car movie. And I really don't want to be associated with a car movie. She was going to turn the movie down. But at the last minute, another project that she was working on had gotten delayed. And she decided that she would make the movie Christine and star in the movie. So... That is 10 things plus a two additional bonus things that you probably didn't know about the movie Christine. Thank you for joining me today. Again, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't you know, had a chance to, check out my channel and my other content. And don't forget, subscribe and hit that bell icon and do all those good youtube -y things that they want you to do and that I need you to do. You. Stay safe out there.